Camille and Brittany, hola. We're in the Hummingbird classroom and we'd like to share a line movement with you. Yes! So we are just thinking about you and where you might be while you're watching this video, maybe at your house or maybe you're outdoors. So perhaps you make your own version of a line at home. You can just use a little area, maybe that's already a nice size rug in your house that you know that is a place that you can move safely, or maybe you and your parents decide you wanna make a line at your own house, making an ellipse shape with a piece of tape, or maybe you just wanna use your backyard and choose a spot for the line out there. But for now, we're in here. <laughs> so our movement today will be a story about Sally. We'll start on the line. We'll start by walking. This is a story about Sally. Her father sent her out to buy bread, but Sally didn't feel like walking. She ran like a cheetah instead. So she said, if I were a cheetah, I'd run to the store. Run to the store, run to the store. If I were a cheetah, I would run to the store, run to the store for my father. And then we'll walk. Brittany, would you like to choose our next animal and movement? Yes, please. How does a snake move? It slithers. This is a story about Sally. Her father sent her out to buy bread. But Sally didn't feel like walking. Instead, she slithered to the store like a snake instead. So she said, if I were a snake, I would slither to the store. many rounds as you would like with your choice of animal and their movement. Have fun with that. We really hope you enjoy. We'll see you next